Welcome to this to another StarCraft Nation broadcast. This is your host, Venerati. Today, I'll be bringing you Hydra again, hoping to bring you five games today. Um, actually, had to recast this one. I got done casting. It was pretty epic, uh, I thought. And then I went to the Fraps folder and saw that it <laughs> uh, Fraps had actually uh, stopped responding. So, here we are once again on Metalopolis, and Hydra... As the Blue Zerg is going to be going up against QXC as the Red Terran. The focus for today was to show Hydra up against Terran, Protoss, and Zerg. However, I couldn't find any Zerg uh, ZVZ action that that Hydra was involved in. So we're just going to go ahead and do Protoss and Terran. QXC, as you know, is a pretty solid Terran player. And we're going to see them duking it out here on Metalopolis and... I'm curious to see whether Hydra, I say that in hindsight, seeing as I've already watched this, but whether Hydra adapts his his build orders to dealing with Terran, which uh, with a player of this caliber, I mean, you obviously expect something different considering you're going up a different build, uh, diff different units and their style of his melee and, and range. And seeing as Terran doesn't really have anything that is melee, we have... Hellions, which are the closest thing I think that they have to melee units, but they are in fact ranged. And they are excellent at killing Zerglings, which Hydra uses a lot, and any Zerg player really uses a lot. Right now we have a little merry-go-round in between QXC and Hydra. QXC bringing his SCV out here, trying to block an early hatch, but Hydra, I don't believe, was really going after an early hatch because he does bring up a spawning pool. Now, I'm not sure if that was a reactionary spawning pool or... If he had planned on it anyway, seeing that he is going up against a Terran player. So, this uh, SCV is really not feeling so great. He only has 10 HP right now. And he goes down 2-5, so he does... QXC does back it out, and Hydra is able to keep his natural and is able to, to throw down the hatchery at 300. So, Hydra really wasn't delayed that much. It, or at least it doesn't seem that way. So, we do have a tech lab coming down on the barracks. So, curious to see whether we see a factory switch, or we see... We do actually do see Reaper, so we are going to see some sort of Reaper harassment here. Now, he isn't able to actually research the Nitro Packs because of the change uh, that was brought on by the patch. Now, you are required to have a factory to research the Nitro Packs, so... QXC not actually throwing down a factory right now. He does not have the... doesn't have the Vespine gas, and he doesn't have a second refinery up right now. Would have thought he would have had that refinery by now, but we do see the second supply depot finishing off this wall. So this drone is marooned, basically, unless QXC drops it. But the Reaper is down and out, and is coming out here. We have another scouting SCV, so going to see this hatchery is just about done. And they're a nice little swarm growing here of Zerglings, so these Zerglings will be able to thwart this SCV if they so choose. But the SCV does actually throw down a bunker, so we're going to see a... Pretty early advanced placement of a bunker. Great tactic in my book. I love doing that as a Terran player. Just really being a pain in the side. It's so cheap and you can always cancel it. And you can always salvage it. But the Zerglings are coming over and are going to go ahead and focus fire down the SCV. So that bunker does not complete its build. But this queen is way off the creep. So the queen will not be able to get this Reaper unless it sees some poor micro by QXC. Which I'm not expecting that as QXC is a top tier player. And the bunker is going ahead and just getting pounded by this queen. Not seeing a SCV. We do have her see another... We do see another Reaper coming in here. So we are seeing a build-up in Reaper concentration. So this could get real dangerous for Idra real quick here. As Metabolic Boost is not up yet. So these Zerglings are slower than the Reaper. But this Reaper is coming into contact with way too much fire. And does go down down as the queen is able to poke it right square in the face. And she does tag that kill. And this bunker is not looking so great. This bunker is going down. But it's actually canceled at around 16 health by QXC. So Hydra is not able to actually do any sort of economic damage to him there. Other than killing that Reaper. So we did see one Reaper go down. But a great use of the Reapers. And a bunker placement. As the Reapers would have been able to go inside the bunker. And would have just really torn into anything that would have come up there. Because Hydra would have had to build up a massive force. And we do see the Zerglings coming up here. And they do get the metal boost, so they hit the NOS and come out here. Are they going to be able to get underneath that command center? No, they do not. The command center does come down in time, and we have a bunker being harassed once again by Zerglings. But there are enough Reapers up here to persuade the Zerglings back as this bunker will finish. And we do see a SCV transfer coming through here and an orbital command coming on for QXC. And 
an Infernal Pre-Igniter, so we're going to see some Hellions coming into play, and those Hellions with the Pre-Igniter are so strong against Zerglings, able to two-shot the Zerglings, so if you have a pair of Hellions and you get a nice little string of Zerglings behind you and you stop an attack, you've just done toasted four or five Zerglings, so really, really, really affected, effective against those light units as that Pre-Igniter does add a plus 10 to any light units, and Zerglings are light units, so super, super effective there. We do see Hydra continuing to bring out the Skin Highway. Those Creep Tumors are just spreading all over the place. We have a Spine Crawler coming in here as a Static Defense, going to try to kind of ward off any sort of Hellion harassment or whatever shenanigans that we see QXC coming up here. And we do have the Hellions moving up before the Pre-Igniter, so not going to be super, super effective here, but they are going to go ahead and try to kill this Creep Tumor, trying to deny the spread of the Skin Highway. So those aliens do go ahead and come back, as we're probably going to see...